Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and to another video. So this is gonna be a quick one. I just wanted to share with you a small tip if you're using Fedora for the DNF package manager. Now DNF, as you probably know, it's the package manager in Fedora. We have YUM on CentOS and other rel based distributions. So DNF is actually the package manager which is supposed to take over in the future all other package managers on rel based distros. But for now, DNF is used on Fedora, although you can use also YUM on Fedora and YUM is used on other rel based distros. Now, one complaint I hear often about the DNF package manager from users is that it's quite slow and it's quite sluggish. So let me say a few words here. So DNF, actually the first time you are running DNF, it's gonna check for the metadata on the repositories. Now the metadata on the DNF package manager is quite large compared to other package managers. And that is the reason why the first time it takes quite long to do that. Now, after the first time it's run, then it's pretty fast actually to download packages if you have a good internet connection. However, we can speed that process a little bit up by changing the configuration file for DNF. Now, this is not gonna change the fact that it's gonna take time to synchronize the first time, but it's gonna be a little snappier afterwards when you have to download your packages. Now, to do this, we need to change the configuration file for DNF, which is under the Etsy directory, like any other configuration file in Linux. Now, let me open up here the terminal. And here I have a fresh installation of Fedora. I just installed this like five minutes ago. And so let me increase the font size here and let's type in sudo dnf update, which is the standard command to update your packages in Fedora. We need to, of course, authenticate here and hit enter. Now, this is the first time it runs. So you can see it's checking now the metadata for the packages and it's gonna take a little bit time. So this is actually a one-time process. Then once it's done that, it's gonna tell you how many updates you have in your system. So this is not gonna change no matter the changes you do in the configuration file, because as I said before, the metadata in DNF, it's quite large. Now you can see here, because it's a fresh install of Fedora, I have a download of about one gigabyte. So this is really the first update after the installation. So let me actually cancel out from here and clean up the terminal. Now let's add some options in the configuration file for the DNF package manager. So the DNF configuration file is, as I said, under the Etsy directory. So to edit it, we need to type in sudo nano. Nano is already pre-installed in Fedora slash etc slash dnf and then slash dnf.conf and hit enter. So as you can see here, we have already several options for the configuration file. We have, for example, GPG check and also clean requirements and skip if unavailable. So we can leave these of course as they are, but I wanna move down here to the empty line. And the first option I want to add here is actually to tell DNF to use more parallel downloads. This is gonna tell DNF how many parallel downloads you can actually do. By default, DNF defaults to three, but we can change this here in the configuration file. So to change that, we can type in, in here, max underscore parallel underscore downloads equal, in my case, I'm gonna put 10, which should be actually enough in most cases. And that's the first thing. Now, another option which is very important, I think this is probably the most important one, which is gonna speed up your DNF package manager, is actually to tell DNF to use the fastest mirror. Now, it's not by default here, so we need to add it here in the configuration file. And to do this, we can type in fastest mirror equal true. So this is gonna tell DNF to try to use the fastest mirror when possible to download your packages. So to save this file, we can hit Control O and enter and to exit, we can hit Control X. Now, if you want to start from scratch here and tell DNF to check again the metadata, you will have to type in sudo DNF clean all and hit enter. So you can see it removes the 42 files that it checked before for the metadata. So that means now if we wanna download the packages, we need to type in again the update command here and it's gonna check again for the uh, metadata. And as you can see here, is determining also now the fastest mirror. So this is gonna help me after it checks the metadata uh, for downloading my packages. Now, as I said before, the metadata check is gonna be the same, but this is just a one-time process. 
And if you will add new repositories, then it's going to check for metadata on those repositories as well. And if there are any changes, it's going to add them to the package manager. But after the first check with the options that we added now in the configuration file, we are going to benefit now by downloading these packages. So let me hit Y here and start downloading my packages here. You can see it determined the fastest mirrors. And as you can see, actually it's downloading fairly fast here. So if I didn't add these options, it was going to download anyway pretty fast for me because I have a fast internet connection. But because I tested this out before, I can tell you actually the download speed is much quicker. So now it's downloaded already and it's gonna now install the packages. So this is actually just what I wanted to show you in this video. It's just a small tip how you can speed up actually your package manager in Fedora. Again, as I said before, the first run is going to check for the metadata, so that does not actually change that much. But when you're going to download packages, you're going to feel the speed difference. So if you have any other tip about the Fedora package manager, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any question about the video, let me also know in the comments below. I will try to answer you as soon as I can. And I hope also that you liked the video, guys. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and subs to the channel if you haven't already. Subs always help me out. And if you want to support my work, you can become a patron. Or if you want, you can also donate via PayPal through my website as well. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I'll see you very soon in the next one.